Hey guys, we are back at Covenant, and today we are working on the front entrance, as well as some housing for some of the pack guards here. Now Covenant's really coming along very nicely, and I'm really curious to see how it all turns out. Now today's video is just going to be the tour. I will have the full build process uploaded in the next day or so, so if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when that comes out. Now, I had a lot of fun putting this together, and it turned out even more scrappy than my original plan, but I think it looks pretty good. So let's get started, shall we? So here's the view as we approach Covenant from the road. You can see it's quite an imposing structure. And of course we're greeted by a pair of turrets, as well as a pair of mannequins, and some nice bright lights to uh, distract you. I really like how junky that wall looks, especially with the rock poking out. And here we have another turret stand. And you can see uh, some spikes with heads on them, as well as a fairly fortified truck there. Oh, looks like uh, those mannequins are falling out. Must have slammed into that pole. And here we have a pretty nice view of the guardhouse. It stretches out for a little ways. I really like how it covers up the almost the entire uh, concrete wall there. And then of course you have a decent view of the entire structure there. Looks really junky, I'm super happy with the way that turned out. Now let's take a look inside the guardhouse. You can see there it's sectioned off um, the entryway and then the guardhouse to the right of it. Have a nice little chain link window so you can see who's coming and going. There's a button there on the wall that unlocks the door. Then of course we have our guard supplies. You can see weapons on the wall as well as some crates with ammo in there and of course a little seating area for when the guards aren't on duty some food laid out looks like some chems and alcohol even a little reading material there didn't know any of them could read another view of the supplies laid out and of course we have our little guard table here Looks like someone's using a bobby pin to get into that tiny box. There's the guard. And that's the view that she has into the entryway. Well, let's take a closer look at that entryway. Of course, there's more chain link. I really like using it. Uh, breaks up the textures from all of the other vanilla stuff. Just makes it look a little bit more junky as well with the rust. Now as you approach the door, you are greeted by more mannequins and heads on pikes. And hopefully the uh, colored lights there distract you. Now if that door is locked and you can't get in, you could be trapped in there. And uh, got a little surprise when we're on the roof to show you what they do to people who get trapped in there. Now let's take a look at the rest of this uh, structure, shall we? Now as we approach this tiny courtyard here, we have some raider cages there, as well as the other side of this truck 
Looks like there's another mannequin trying to climb out. Or is he injured? Can't tell. And this is the pack, so of course we have a little doghouse there. And then a really nice, junky, corrugated steel wall. Now let's take a look in here, shall we? Whoa. Looks like someone wasn't happy with that mannequin. Have a little bit of storage here. Looks like bowling pins and masks. Quite the combination. And over here, looks like we have some raw meat storage. I wonder what that was. Hopefully it doesn't belong to this guy. Of course you have pack colors. And then on this far end, we have a little junk pile. And looks like a uh, fresh kill there. Don't know if that's a warning or if it's hanging out for another reason. Of course you have a gnome guarding everything. And that brings us to a seating area here. Plenty of beer laid out. Looks like a little bit of jet there as well. I really like those couches. Uh, they come from Thematic and Practical. And I'll go ahead and leave a Google Doc in the description with links to all the mods I use. And we have another little um, private living area here. Looks like there's a brewmaster hard at work. I guess it must be easier to make your alcohol rather than to scavenge for it or steal it from other people. And that brings us to our first sleeping area. Looks like there's some food laid out there as well as uh, some food cooking on the fire. And then we have a little bit more covered storage here to the left of the seating area. Well, let's uh, take a look above the guardhouse, shall we? Head back through this little tunnel. You can see what I mean by junky look. I was not expecting to build this uh, junky of a place, but it kind of just came together. I'm really happy with it, though. Got another uh, look at the shelving unit here. And a better look at that stabbed mannequin. Poor guy. Now let's head up the staircase. I really like this staircase in particular. With the uh, raider cages as stairs. Worked out really well. Now that brings us to the top of the guardhouse. You can see these fire barrels set up. So if someone does get stuck in there, you have a nice chain link skylight you can dump hot coals right on top of them. That's gotta feel really good. That's probably my favorite part of this build. Just like a medieval castle. Now over here, we have another seating area for some guards. And of course there's a guard on duty. Looks like we have plenty of alcohol and chems. Some weapons laid out as well. And of course a turret off in the corner there. And a really nice view. Look at that. You can see the road as well as the uh, river there. Even clear across the river. It's a pretty nice vantage point. Well, let's check out the rest of the upstairs, shall we? This place really did turn out cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. I really had a good time building it. Here we have some rooftop storage. Not too much, but a little. And then over here, we have a little cooking area. 
Now I imagine some of this food is going to be for the pack members, but just on the other side of this concrete wall will be prisoner storage, and I imagine they'll cook food or throw raw food on the floor and they'll have to be they'll be forced to, you know, fend for themselves. And then across from the grill here, we have a little seating area. Looks like uh, this guy is enjoying some whiskey and a cigar. And you got a decent view of the two homes just across the walkway there. And of course that angled roof over the brewmaster. I'm really proud of the way that turned out. Now walking across this path brings us to our first upstairs dwelling. Now this is where the brewmaster lives. You can tell by all the booze laying around. Of course there's a bedside table with some chems and more reading material there. And then on the shelf here we have some, looks like some forced laborer clothes and some shock collars. And then, of course, plenty of booze, human remains. I mean, they are raiders. Then turning this way, you get a little bit better view of the side we were just on. Now we can head over to the other sleeping area upstairs. Now this one's quite a bit smaller, but definitely has a little bit of privacy. You can see some plants there. and Oh, looks like we have a bear just relaxing. Well, we'll leave you alone. Now heading back this way, we can check out the top of the guard tower. What castle wouldn't be complete without some guard towers, right? Let's head on up. Now up here, we have a assortment of grenades you can toss down on people on the road. Of course, there's more beer and looks like he has a weapon. A little cinder block table there as well. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. Drop me a comment down below if you have any thoughts about this build or any questions for me. Subscribe if you want to see when my next video goes live. We should be back here at Covenant working on the areas outside the concrete wall. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and until then, enjoy your time in the Commonwealth.